Good morning everyone. As you can see, this is ASOS Expert Book B1, B1502. It's a 12th gen Intel processor based full size laptop. It comes with Windows 11. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall Windows 11 in UEFI environment. So first of all, you should have one bootable Windows 11 thumb drive. It's very simple to create. If you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link would be in the description. So once you created the bootable Windows 11 UEFI installer, then connect it and make sure you leave the charger connected, okay? Because we don't want to see any sort of interruption. So once it connected, what are you gonna do? We're gonna switch it down, power down the laptop completely, and then we're gonna press the power button again to turn it on. And while you press it simultaneously, we're gonna keep pressing ESC button. So what would happen once you press ESC button, that's gonna take us to the BIOS. It's gonna give you some sort of interruption and we can choose setup from there. So press the power button and keep pressing ESC. Yeah, as you can see here, the tops are the bootable sources to enter and the bottom one is set up. Once you click here, it's gonna take us to a visual BIOS interface that you can see. Now, what happened is ASUS, they do have two sort of view, the visual for BIOS, one of them traditional, another one is a little bit, you know, up-to-dated graphical BIOS page. So once you press F7, it's gonna take us to the Pro Mode, and from here, we can change all the settings. There are a few options few sub menus we need to go to not the main second which is advanced from here we must need to enable that one okay so i'm going to go through all of them all the major one especially what you need to focus is here you need to find the secure boot option which has to be enabled usb boot configuration also that has to be enabled then TPM, Trusted Module Platform, has to be um, enabled as well if you'd like to install Windows 11 in it. And those are the major settings that we must need to enable it. And then boot type, also we need to select it. And rest of the options are kind of optional. You can either leave it on or off or default. It doesn't make that much difference. So instead of focusing to the highlighted options i'm going to go through most common settings how i left it and then you guys can copy the same thing and enable your usb boot Once those done, what are you going to do? We're going to go to the bottom option, which is called save and exit, the last one, and we're going to save it. Once we save, it's going to uh, restarting. So what are you going to do? We're going to press yes button again. So from there, temporarily, we can choose our bootable Windows 11 installer directly. As you can see, this USB is connected. I'm going to hit enter now. It's going to load up the settings and from there it's so simple to do. I believe most of the viewers they knows how to do that, but let's continue. All right, so hit next. Install now. It's gonna load up the terms and condition, which we have to select it. We have to agree with the terms and condition and we're gonna hit next. And for fresh installation, we're gonna to get to the bottom one. Now here is the option. Before we delete any partition, you have to back up your data, okay? If there is any important data, you have to back it up before you get to this point. And just remember, might be the trackpad get disabled in this stage of the Windows installation. In this case, what you have to do, either you can use the keyboard command 
okay so for tab button for selecting i mean up and down and then spacebar button to uh, rear click enter okay and also you can use the arrows so those three buttons you can do tab button to skip one after another and to highlight it and then spacebar button to enter or press ok and then up and down is up and down arrow okay so once you use the external mouse that should give you the privilege to go forward uh, it might take five to ten minutes max and then windows would be all yours once the windows setup has done you might have many issues with the drivers because um, for this generation i found the trackpad doesn't work and then wi-fi driver is not there um, but obviously um, rj45 the ethernet connector ethernet drivers uh, by default it gets installed so you can use the wired connection to update the drivers and once the driver up to date then trackpad and sound and all other drivers should be fine okay if you don't know how to update the drivers it's so simple i'm going to bring in a next video please just let me know in the comment section if you'd like to have these sort of videos in the future okay so as you can see this is copying and it's going to finalize within a couple of minutes and windows would be ready to go All right, so finally the setup is completed. As you can see, the Windows 11 is here. Uh, some Windows 11, I mean some version, they might gonna ask you to have the internet connection to go forward and finalize the video, but in this version it didn't. However, let me know how did you like this video, and if you do, please thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. Bye for now.